Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 117. I am your host, Nomar Sanzo. Joining me today is Rommel. Hello, all you happy people. Hey, Rommel, how are you doing, man? Awesome, awesome. Uh, today is just a lazy day, ain't it? Indeed. Very lazy. Not just for you, not just for me, for everyone, I think. No matter who I texted today, they all say, Oh, I don't feel like doing anything. I think I'll just sit home and do nothing. Dude, isn't that like what you do every day? Yeah, but th- today is a special kind of, I don't want to do anything there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, I never yeah. knew there was a special kind of lazy. <laughs> yeah, there is this. Mo- there are those moments. But tell me, you, you must do something besides that, right? Personally, for me, I did something today. Well, yeah, I mean, I didn't do like completely nothing. I just did something that's not completely productive. Which was? Just some drawing some doodles here and there, went out to the city, did some shopping. You know, nothing too big. You know, just a regular lazy day. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. As for me, I went out and bought myself a new game. Oh, yeah. Watch Dogs, is it? Yep, got myself Watch Dogs, man. And I got a free flashlight with it, so yay. Oh, man. I, I really should buy hard copies myself, too. Mostly I got them on Steam. You know what? Talking about Steam, I recently bought Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, so... <laughs> okay, okay. Arcade. That's quite a fascinating game, I must say. Yeah, but... Alright, uh, maybe we should get back to the show. Oh, we're yeah, kind of going side yeah, tracks. We're, we're talking about ponies, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not only lazy, but a quite, quite a distracting day. But anywho, Rom, let's get on with the show. And moving on, housekeeping. And every free Northwest plug. Rom, why don't you read this one? Okie dokie, my time to shine. Every free Northwest exclusive patron and sponsor Ponies Talk Concert and musician meet and greet. The Everfree Northwest Music Team would like to invite all of our patron and sponsor badge holders to two exclusive and intimate acoustic pony stock performance at this year's convention. Don't miss out on the chance to mingle with some of the re-owned musicians of the My Little Pony fandom community at our private musician meet and greet for patrons and sponsors. Don't forget to snag an autograph or two while you're there. This is just the latest in the number of perks available for our patrons and sponsors. And while our sponsor badges have sold out, we still have a limited number of patron badges available. For only $100, a patron badge gets you access to both private concerts and the musician meet and greet, preferred seating, a panels and autograph vouchers, and a keychain voucher for the Sugar Cube Corner vendor booth. Register now so you don't miss out. They're sure going fast. Indeedy. And links will be provided in the show notes. I wish I could go. <laughs> same here, same here. But I'm afraid nothing... Well, there are certain things that are just not meant to happen, I'm afraid. Indeed. For us, for us. But for you lucky people in the States there, and whoever live close to Seattle, Washington, you should probably go because it's going to be awesome. You get to meet brony musicians who are pretty awesome. So why not? It's just 100 bucks. You get a lot of things. But anywho, please, if you have the cash and you have the time... Please go visit Everfree Northwest. Anyway, Rom, let's move on to the next topic, and I think it's your time to shine! Again. Alright. I am Romeo Alt with the MBS Show News. In today's news time, Daniel Ingram starts up a music production company. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Daniel Ingram, a composer from Melo Pony Friendship and Magic and Lilith's Pet Shop, has announced the opening of his new music production company. Naming it Smashing Music Productions, his company will be focusing on music production for animation, live action, movies, and even games. Links to his website can be found in the show notes. Oh my god, Daniel Ingram is opening his own company. It's about flipping time, man. I thought he already did. No, he was just working for the shows, for My Little Pony and the Pet Shop. He was just composing songs for that. I mean, he's so good. He is like, um... Made so many songs, so many Brony musicians made remixes and parodies, and he's just, he's so awesome. He should have done this long time ago. I mean, I had I had this feeling he would do it at some point. Oh, well, I, I guess it's all planning because um, the first test to his um, awesomeness in terms of background music and stuff was in Pinky Pride, where him and Stefan Andrews did most of the background music. So that was pretty awesome. Indubitably. Yep, yep. 
And talking about Stefan Andrews, he's also part of the company, Smash Music Productions. Um, he's senior composer and orchestrator, orchestrator, something like that. Yeah. So yeah, yep. um, he'll be joining them too. So this is going to be awesome. Like <laughs> they have been really working hard for it. <laughs> the fun has been doubled. Indeedy. But anywho, next news from. In other news, Pony references in latest game Watch Dogs. One of the most anticipated games of 2014 has been released, and Watch Dogs by Ubisoft has snuck in a few pop culture references. One of the few references, it has its towards the brony community. The references is while scanning a guy, it states a guy writes MOP fanfiction. The other is a keychain of the great and powerful Trixie in a car. Not sure if there is more, but it's still very awesome. I bought the game. I want to see if it's all true. Ah! <laughs> Well, now you got it, you'll have the chance to confirm this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I, I've seen a few things of the game, and it looks pretty awesome. And there's <laughs> even a call-out to the furry community. <laughs> furry community? Is this some kind of Call of Duty mod? No, no. It's just like um, the guy scanned another person, and he was reading the text message of the person. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Fair so- enough. Yeah, but no, it's, it's it's cool, man. It's cool. I just can't wait to play it, man. I can't wait. But I need to do the show and edit this. No, really, but need to edit. I can play the game. Uh, anywho, moving on to the next news. In other other news, official Xbox Twitter post Watchdogs Rainbow Dash. Recently on Twitter, a user going by the name of Rainbow Dash sixteen has tweeted to the fish the official Xbox Twitter account, asking for help because he is addicted to the game Watchdogs. Xbox, being cool guys that they are, they have replied with the phrase, can't stop, won't stop, and also attached an awesome looking picture. Links to the tweet can be found in the show notes below. Indeed. And wow. Ex- it's unbelievable. I know. <laughs> For Okay, I, I know how people are with Xbox recently with their recent console and stuff, and I don't blame you. I feel the same way too. But honestly speaking, a company like that responding to this one guy's tweet, and not only just responding, but responding with a picture too. And it's not any other picture. It's just a picture of a pony with a mask running. And it's not bad. It looks good. So... For them to just go out of their way to respond to a brony like that, that's just cool, man. That's just, that's just cool. <laughs> well, yeah, I really love this post. I'm looking at it right now. The first step is admitting it. <laughs> achievement unlocked. Addictive gameplay. <laughs> I unlocked that achievement years ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, when Sony is going to do next, or even Steam. <laughs> Well, hopefully they'll get that soon. I mean, things take time. I you no know, true, true, true that. But people saying PC Master Race, where is your brony got now? <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Uh, but but anywho. So anyway, Rom, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is, oh, well, it was supposed to be guest time, but there's no guests, and we don't have any discussion to talk about anything. So you know what? I'm just going to do this. Rom, how are you and how are you feeling? And what's your reaction to be part of the crew? Well, I'm feeling okay. Feeling all right. And my reaction? Well, you've heard my reaction when I when you first gave me the offer. I was like... <laughs> Fanboy intensifies. Uh, yeah, but what was that? Three weeks ago? I think... I don't know. I have, I have not been looking at time anymore. I, I lost track of time. I've been busy with too many other side projects. Hmm. Let me see. You you were on um, one of the episodes that was with yep. Kitsu. And we talked to um, the people who made My Little Investigation. Really? Yep. That was last week's show. No, no. That I think, was... Oh, the, the week before that. Yeah, yeah. The Rob. week before that. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it has been three so weeks, including this one. Yep. I think so. <laughs> well, time should fly. So, how is it, man? How has it been treating you? Did it live up to expectation? Even more than that. I mean, I've already met so many awesome people, and I already got into, like, other side projects, which is really cool. More things to do, more things to discover, more things to learn, and people to learn from. I always try to extract educational value from everywhere I go, from every person I meet. And it's been going great. I couldn't ask for more. 
Wow, thanks, man. I mean, like like I said before, you really read well. I mean, true, true. A lot of people say I should be a newscaster, a guy on the radio. Yeah, like me, a guy on the radio. Come on, fellas, I am touched. You think like that, but <laughs> come on, me. Yeah, no bad, man. No bad. You, you, you I should try that. that. You, you, you. Uh, not bad. You do have that um, charisma behind true, you, so true. it'll be awesome. And now that I'm already getting experience doing podcasts, I suppose I could use this as a like Stephen in a re- yeah, like an add this to my resume. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why if not? I if I ever see an opening for a radio, <laughs> why not, man? Uh, we we do do the awesome things and talk to people. And true, you know what, true. Rom, you have been on, but you haven't been talking much. So you need to talk much, man. Oh well, at least you need know, to I voice know. out your opinions. <laughs> Don't let James I- bully you. <laughs> I'm not letting him bully me. I'm just letting other people tell their opinions. And I'm just waiting for the perfect moment to, like, uh, get in between. <laughs> because I've been taught to not interrupt people when they're being awesome. Oh, true that, true I know that. I am awesome, but still, everyone takes turn. And I don't want to be rude like that, like that numbskull on the highway trying to, like, get into my lane. Did he single? No. <laughs> exactly. He did not. <laughs> and I don't want to be that guy. That no. guy, eh? All right, all right. So, yeah, during the show, it's only been three weeks. It's only been, like, three episodes. I gained quite a lot more than I did in my day job. Mm. I'm happy that I invited you on the show. And you have been awesome, man. You have been awesome. This is the happiest time of my life. <laughs> uh, so- soon, you'll, soon you'll suffer. And you'll understand why people come and go. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't that like in real life? Some people go, then something happens. They have to go that way. We don't see them for some time. Maybe we'll see them in the next two years or so. I mean, that's how it always is. Oh, true that, true that, true that. It's like the rule of the Jedi. Don't mm. grow attachments. Oh, God. That's not... You know that's not canon anymore, right? <laughs> I know, I know. But still. Still, the rule is quite useful. I mean, you got to learn to, like, um, let go of things. Not being... I mean, yeah, I mean, you got you got to understand this philosophy that nothing lasts forever. No items, no valuables, not even people. <clears throat> and you just got to learn how to, like, you know, just 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 keep going. Just because the, the person you, like, really awesome with is not there anymore doesn't mean, like, everything else is gone. You just got to keep moving. And, you know, life is crazy. One day your paths will, like, mingle again. Oh, true, true. But you know what? Um, doing this show for over two years... It's been fun, and like you said, met a lot of awesome people, talked to a lot of awesome people. Got into a lot of side projects. Not me, personally. I, I don't think I've entered any side projects. We did get into the team okay. That was really awesome. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention that. Yay, we, we were um okay by Team OK, and they're pretty awesome dudes. For anyone yep. who's listening to this and listened to the last week's episode... um. Please do contact Team OK. They're, they're really awesome dudes. Don't forget to add that to the show notes. <laughs> the links. Oh, yeah. The contact yeah, yeah. details. Because we're getting a lot of new people. Just a few days ago, we have Ask Palette Swap joined us just recently. And that was like, I made another huge fanboy squeak because I've been following his or hers block. I'm not sure who is the original artist behind that. Didn't look deeply into it. I but I do love the style and having someone on an awesome someone <laughs> excuse me I'm fanboying out <laughs> having someone awesome on the team like that is just just whoa just whoa just whoa <laughs> it's cool man it's cool man but you know what it's it's all cool man it's all cool and people who... it's more than cool it's beyond awesome yeah I mean um if you're listening and you haven't seen Team OK do take a look see because um we've got Rain Gear and he's pretty awesome. We got uh, we got Anticolo Pony and well we got a lot of other awesome people like James and also Chucky Bibi. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I won't say join us. Well, technically you can join us. I'm I'm not in charge, so I got no idea. But still, um, do come around, do hang out with us, do be in the uh, Team OK's uh, Skype call. It's really chaotic. <laughs> Note how gently he uses chaotic. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Message can go up to two hundred. <laughs> the biggest messages, the biggest message amount I had was three hundred when I logged in. <laughs> oh god, 
We must do, must do. It's, it's all awesome. It's all awesome, man. But anywho, um, let's not dilly dally anymore. Um, we're we we don't have any guests. We don't have any topic discussions, and we're kind of promoting Team OK now. Well, we're sure shields. We are shields. A what now? Shields. People who sell out. <laughs> we're not. We're not selling out. We're helping these guys like get known. Oh, true that. <laughs> We're helping uh, them promote. We're we're con- we're contributing to the community. Indeed, and we're getting the word out that there is a team out there. We're awesome. We can do stuff. Indeed, indeed. But not just do stuff. We can do stuff awesomely. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We oh. can draw. We can sing. We can podcast. There is nothing. The only thing we can do. Uh, um, no wait, that's an inside joke. Never mind. <laughs> not ten- everyone. Will, not the, everyone will get it. The ten not to do rules. Uh, not exactly, but close enough. <laughs> Potatoes. Uh, but anywho, oh, uh, by the way, don't forget to go to Everfree Northwest. Coming this 4th of July weekend. Go there, buy the tickets. There's our, their awesome plug. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Rom, shoutouts. Let's go to shoutouts. Okay, shoutouts to Team OK for letting us be part of their team. That was really awesome of you guys. And we'll do our best to contribute to the team. Indeedy, indeedy. I mean, we're already doing our best. We're already giving the shout-outs. <laughs> uh, Any more? Uh, I want to say, I want to give a shout-out to my mom. Hi, mom! Uh, is your mom Look, is I'm even... on podcast! <laughs> is your mom even listening to this? Uh, I did give her a few links, yeah. What? No, I'm embarrassed right now. You're fired. What? what? Oh, no, I'm... Do you know how proud my family is that I'm being, uh, like, in the media, like, talking about stuff with awesome people, <laughs> talking about awesome stuff? Uh, you're fired. What? I just made my entire home country proud. Okay, now you're rehired, but you're grounded. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, for, that's for me. Um, Shoutouts to you, Rom. Thank you for being here and hanging out and just talking nonsense with me. My pleasure. Isn't that what we do every day? Yep, true, 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 but we're not recorded. <laughs> we should, we should. And also to James Cork, our little uh, Spaniard bunny, uh, buddy. Um, he's not here right now because he has to hang out with family. So I respect that. Family comes Me first. Me too. Indeed. Mm-hmm. And also to Team OK. Um, to Anticular Pony, to Captain, to Chucky, to... Uh, as Rainier, did I say Rainier? And also to Aquatic Suns and um, to Faurana and people who are in there. Like, there, there's a lot of people, man. There, there's a lot of people. So, oh, sketchy sounds. And also, I got no idea. There, there's a lot of people on Team OK. And just hang out there and have fun if you want to because Team OK is, is awesome. <laughs> But anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the MBS show at gmail.com. And if you like to email us personally, links are in the show notes. Also, if you want to reach us on Twitter, you can reach the show's account at the MBS show. Sweetie Bot will, well, I don't know what Sweetie Bot will do. This is kind of a lazy week for her. So, probably she'll do nothing. <laughs> and as for me, you can find me at Norman Sanzo. I usually tweet stuff about toys, food, games, and, well, um, whatever tickles my fancy. And, Rom, what about you? You can find me at twitter.com slash RomeywaldZ69. Usually I post about, uh, tweet about, um, different things, whatever comes to mind. I could talk about my plans, I could talk about my ideas, anything. Mm-hmm. Feel free to tweet me for any questions or any, anything at all. Just do it. <laughs> for the sake of it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebook page. And I forgot to mention this for a while now. We are also on Ponyville Live. Do give us a listen there. And also the other awesome Brony channels there too. Like Bronyville and Brony Time. And also Talking Ponies, Scribblers Ponytails, The Brony Show... And many more. And also, they have awesome radio channels like Celestia Radio, Ponyville FM, Philadelphia Radio, Luna Radio, Sonic Rainboom, Alicorn Radio, and many more. So, you can also listen to us on Ponyville Live or wherever else that I just mentioned before. Today has just been a derpy day, guys. I'm sorry. 
Anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Romuald. And we'll see you next week with a whole cast of people. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm just... Ah! Just keep calm, man. We're going to have... We'll be more productive next week. I'm uh, pretty sure of it. Uh, okay. Okay. My psychologic... My astral life... Oh, my God. What you call it? <laughs> okay. The, the, my astrologist promised me <laughs> we're going to be good. Anywho, bye-bye. Bye. bye. bye.